With players like OnePlus and Honor making their names in the Indian market for phones priced around the 30k mark by providing premium hardware, Vivo doesn't want to be left behind and has launched the new Vivo X21 in India. What differentiates it from the pack? Well, let's unpack the device to answer this. Coming up next on TechPP.com. Hey guys, this is Sumuk from TechPP and today we'll be unboxing the new flagship from Vivo in India, the Vivo X21. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of our uploads. Let's get to the unboxing. The variant of the X21 release in India comes with the all-hyped under-display fingerprint scanner. But before we get to that, let's dig into the box to see what we can find. Vivo claims this to be the official smartphone of the upcoming 2018 FIFA World Cup and hence the branding goes all around the box. The silhouette version of the phone is neatly embossed and subtly hints at the in-display fingerprint scanner. Let's get rid of the plastic. Once you open the box, we have the card promoting the FIFA World Cup. Under that, we have the phone itself. We have the black variant and it looks quite good. The back is made of glass but has a matte look to it. Let's keep that aside for now. Next, we have the usual documentation along with the SIM ejector pin. Below that, there is a transparent hard plastic case with colored sides. Looks good. Then we have the age-old micro USB cable and a nice pair of in-ear earphones. Lastly, there is the brick charger with support for Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Getting all this out of the way, let's move to the phone itself. The front of the device houses a 6.28-inch 19-9 AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2280 pixels and an impressive screen-to-body ratio of 85.2%. Now this was achievable thanks to the infamous notch at the top where the 12 megapixel front facing camera, the earpiece and a few sensors at the side. The rear houses a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel primary lens and an f1.8 aperture and a big 1.4 micron pixel sensor while the secondary lens is a 5 megapixel one with an aperture of f2.4. As we mentioned earlier, the back of the phone is made of glass but somehow feels like plastic when you tap on it. Not sure if it has Corning's Gorilla Glass or any sort of protection. It still takes in smudges but not as bad as the mirror black variant of the OnePlus 6. Talking about the OnePlus 6, Vivo has provided similar curves on the back and it feels really nice to hold in the hands. The placements of the ports are a bit unusual. While the SIM tray has been moved to the bottom, the 3.5mm audio jack is pushed to the top. On the inside, the very capable Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 chip powers the X21, coupled with 6GB of RAM and 128GB storage which can be expanded thanks to the hybrid SIM slot. There's a 3200mAh battery running the show and the software is taken care of by Vivo's FunTouch OS, running on top of Android 8.1 Oreo. In fact, the Vivo X21 is amongst the handful few devices to support Android P Beta. Now getting to the highlight of the device, that fingerprint scanner underneath the display. Setting it up is pretty much like on any other device. It glows up the area where the in-display scanner is present. Vivo has added some nice animations which can be further customized. In our brief testing, the fingerprint scanner was pretty accurate but not as fast as the regular ones. But yeah, it was a special experience to use it for the first time. Of course, there is the face unlock feature as well. So those were our initial impressions of the Vivo X21. Vivo isn't someone you would expect to take on the likes of the OnePlus and Honor in terms of pricing, but this is still a good offering on paper. To know more about each and every aspect of the device, please stay tuned for our further updates and if you have any queries, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, may the tech be with you.